What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the Jimbo Slice Workshop. I'm sorry we took another break, uh, but we were having some equipment issues. Um, that's all been sorted out. We got a new mic, so we're ready to go, and we are back in action with the Atomic from DeWalt. Um, so if you don't know what I mean by Atomic, DeWalt released a new brushless entry-level line of tools dubbed the Atomic Series. Uh, so with this series, they have a drill, they got an impact driver, they have a oscillating multi-tool, they also have a small four and a half inch saw, and they got a couple other things that they're still coming out with. So a little thing about the Atomic line, they're entry level brushless. So a lot of them, they seem to just be like a stripped down XR branded tool. So the Atomic oscillating multi-tool is actually very similar to the the single speed current XR that was discontinued. Um, a little less, less bells and whistles in that because they came out with another version that had three speeds. Uh, so in terms of this impact being the Atomic branded impact, the model number is DCF809. So uh, one thing, I'm not too impressed by this impact. Um, in terms of a standalone tool, if this was five years ago, wow, this thing is great. Oh wait, kind of like the DCF886. Uh, similar in size, similar in features, similar in build, similar in power. So it's a single speed impact driver. There's no multiple speeds or modes, no self-tapping mode. So it's a single speed impact driver, runs up to 3,200 impacts per minute at 2,800 RPMs, okay? So it's kind of like middle of the road. I want to say torque specs out around 1,700, which is actually a little more than the 886 did, but it is a newer tool. So in terms of feel, it feels very similar. It looks similar, similar in size. Um, so in my honest opinion, they just kind of took an 886 and they made it the Atomic. Uh, you have the three LED light ring on it, nothing down here. Like I said, no multiple speeds. It's a bare bones, basic impact. Um, no matter what kit you go with, you're gonna get it a one and a half amp hour pack. It's a dumb pack, meaning there's no fuel gauge on it. So you don't know how much battery life you got. Uh, I really wish they would have included the 2.0s. It's 2019. I don't understand why we're still having one and a half hour packs. Whatever. So in terms of an entry level tool, it's an all around good impact, just like the 886 was back in its day. Um, it has ample power to do whatever you're going to throw at it, uh, whether you're doing a little bit of drill driving, you know, if you're taking a one inch auger bit, uh, you're tapping a couple holes, uh, you're using, you're sinking three and a half inch deck screws, uh, the tool will get it done. Earlier in the video I showed you running some big lags. Stay away from that. Uh, the impact housing actually heated up pretty good over 100 degrees and it was very, very hot to the touch. So one thing I did, I ran both tests. I ran a one and a half amp hour pack that comes with any of the kits. And then I also ran a five amp hour pack. The tool actually comes alive with a five amp hour pack. I know most tools will. Most of us DeWalt users, we're gonna have the larger packs. So I recommend running, run at least a 2.0 with these if you can. But going to the kits, uh, they have a single battery kit for 149, a two battery kit for 159 and if you get the drill driver two battery kit I want to say it MSRP is at 229 but I've seen it as low uh, as 179 uh, when I had this kit sent to me I actually got they had a promo where you got a T-stack one or two and I was under the impression the tools were going to come inside the T-stack case with foam no that was incorrect it was actually just a bundle so you got the T-stack with the drill kit. So with that kit, you got the charger, you got two one and a half amp hour batteries, you got this impact, you got the drill, which is coming up in the next video, and you got a tool bag with it too. So it was a little confusing with that promo. I was under intent, you know, the pretense that it was gonna come in the case, it does not. So if you see that promo, if you want the T-Stack, go for it, but don't expect your tools to come in that. So all around, um, it's not a bad impact, really and truly, but if you're looking for a high-powered impact and you're a DeWalt user, stick with the 887. 
it's not smaller. It's actually probably bigger than the 887, which I don't understand. Atomic was supposed to be compact and small, which in the next video you're going to see the size and the impressiveness of the drill in the Atomic series. So uh, that's really all I have to say about this impact. It didn't wow me, but it didn't totally let me down either. Um, I'm going to go off on a little tangent about the DeWalt and their impacts. I personally think they're behind the times. Uh, I'm, I know I'm going to anger some DeWalt users out there. I'm not saying DeWalt impacts are bad. They, are, they make a quality impact, okay? But they just, compared to other brands, they just they lack the features and the advanced electronics. Uh, even the 887, it's, it's a three-speed impact, but it has the old Stone Age 1 switch to switch thing. Now some people prefer that and that's fine. If that's what you're into, by all means, love the tool. It's a proven impact driver. I don't care what some YouTube channels are saying, don't buy it, it smokes. I don't want to hear that because I had that tool for over a year. I ran it through some really hard stuff and not once did it let me down. Um, so one thing I want to mention too, this impact also has a one channel one-handed chuck, so bravo DeWalt, the awesome 20 volt max grip. Ergonomics are on point, but it's bigger than it should be for a compact line of tools. Uh, so anyways, back to the impact thing. Um, I'm just saying is that I think DeWalt needs to bring more to the table in terms of impacts. They make phenomenal drills, really awesome carpentry tools. Flexvolt line is astounding. Um, it's a proven tool company, but I just think they lack in the impact department. So uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. So stay tuned. We're going to have some more videos rolling out here. We're going to have the atomic drill. We're also going to have the 20 volt brushless sander. And then we're going to have a little comparison between the brushless 20 volt sander and the brushed M18 sander. So stay tuned for that all coming within the next week or so. I'll have a couple other things lined up. So hit me up on Instagram at Jimbo Slice Workshop. Uh, a lot of things that don't make it to the YouTube channel. Now that we are back in action, I'm going to try to get a little smaller, quicker videos, quick little tool reviews and tips and whatnot. So uh, check me out on Instagram. And thanks for watching, guys.